Welcome back, everybody. It's Malclair here, back with another video. And today, guys, we're continuing back on another episode of Court's Party, Chapter 4, Episode 2. So we're almost done with the series. One more chapter to go, guys. But I feel like this one is going to be a lot longer than Chapter 3. But, you know, your boy was, like, kind of excited to play this, you know. I uh, haven't been playing a lot of games lately, as I will explain in my talk video on why I'm doing all of this. But uh we're just gonna jump back in you know i got another talk i got a taco adventure video coming for you guys when this one drops so let's start this i saved naomi from the last episode so i managed to save her and now i got her right here i, I tied the noose around her neck and she's good here we go naomi hey you're all right now breathe <laughs> Yes. You Boy, could <laughs> I went through all the possibilities. I was like, oh, let's stand on this bucket and save her. And then it, it just killed her, even though I was like trying to save her. But you know what? It's all good. That's it. Easy now. Just like that. Breathe. Breathe in and breathe out. Slow and steady. <sighs> Toshi? Yeah, it's me. Are you all right? You really had me scared there for a minute. Don't worry, baby girl. I came to save you. What? what? What's wrong? Are you alright? Come Get here sooner next time. Beep, moan, hick, hick. Let me, let me stop. <laughs> alright. Uh, what? Uh, sorry. What's wrong with me? What am I doing? I wasn't like you. No need to apologize. There's no need. Huh? No need to apologize. Um, is, is your neck okay? My neck? What was I doing anyway? I fell down the stairs and then... When I came to, you were here. You don't remember anything? I guess not. After I fell, I heard a snap in my leg, and I figured I'd broke it. But it turned out it was just the split that Seiko, that Seiko had used on my sprained ankle earlier. Shinohara? I think I heard her voice a little bit ago. Any idea where she went? Seiko. Seiko. Seiko is... I wish I could have saved her, but in the story, she had to die regardless. I, I figured out like, there was no way to save her. That's impossible. I heard a voice. She spoke to me just a few minutes ago. Seiko. 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 Let's get her down. I feel bad leaving her like that. Dude, this this whole story got ten times sadder than what it needs to be. Like, oh man, we had a fight just before we partied. Parted ways. I was the one in the wrong, but I was too stubborn, stubborn, and too too stubborn to admit it. And the next time I saw her, Seiko was already dead. It might have been. It might have even been my fault. I said some pretty mean things to her. Even apologize anymore. It's all right. It's not your fault. You do realize that. You also tried to hang yourself. Right. It did? That's not possible. There is a stinking pain around my entire neck. Did I really? So you don't remember. I'm sure it was the same for Shinohara. Oh, she knew what she was doing. No matter how upset she was, she would not be. She wasn't the type to give up. Much less kill herself over it. You, you're right. She wouldn't do that. Probably not. Anyway. 
Actually, there was the spirit you came to talk to me. A girl about the same age as yours, as us. She said that anyone who's been touched by the curse of the school will, be, ha will have their mind taken over and go crazy. The mind? Taken over? Curse or no curse? I do not feel like I anyone trapped in here for long, for long enough with no insane. Well, we Clearly, we need to get out of this school as soon as, as soon as we possibly can. The longer we're here, the more danger we're in. If even Naomi and Shinohara, two of the strongest people I know, can wind up like this, then any one of us could be next, myself included. We'd better make sure nobody's left by themselves anymore. Sounds like we need to hurry up and find the others, then get out of here. Yeah, that brings us, brings up something else, though. That brings up something else, though. That girl spirit also said that the school was in, was its own version of closed space. And that Seiko and I were the only living beings present. So how did you get here, Satoshi? Now that you mention it, there is a different feeling in the air now that, now than there was before. Such concern for your friends, and all the impulses that go with it, spurring the heart into action, is a truly noble sentiment. Now go! Go to the one who occupies your thoughts. Though you probably won't make it in time. <laughs> so, that's how he ended up there. But what about Yuka? She's still walking with this unknown stranger that just killed his only friend and threw him down a hole. So, come to think of it, I was also approached by the spirit of a high school girl. Shortly afterward, I lost consciousness and woke up now, far from here. I wonder what, who she was. I'm not sure, but it sounds like you somehow made you come from one closed space to another. Closed space? Closed space? At first, ghost we saw said that if two people were in, a different, in different spaces, it would be nearly impossible for them to meet. Huh? It's nothing. Uh, Satoshi? I think I heard Yuka's voice on the second floor earlier. You did? The two of us got separated when I... We the two of us got separated when I lost consciousness. She can't be by herself in a place like this. She'll make, never make it. Last I saw her, she was heading out onto the walkway between the two wings. Come on, Naomi. This way. Oh, okay. Shinohara. Shinohara. I'm sorry. I wish I could take you with us. But it doesn't seem like that's possible anymore. Please forgive me. Teko. So the mission of today is to find baby girl Yuka. Baby sister like Yuka. And why are you tripping? Oh my gosh. Are, are you okay? <laughs> the damage to her neck and throat may have been worse than I assumed. It might have cut all oxygen to her brain or, or something. Sorry, I suddenly got really dizzy and tripped over my own feet. And now everything's turning like... Why? Naomi! Naomi! Looks like she's in false consciousness. I need to take her somewhere to rest. Was it there in nurse offices? <laughs> nurse offices. Oh my god. Oh, nurse's office. Or something <laughs> around here. Yeah, okay. I cannot grammar right, so. Alright, so we're in the nurse's office letting Naomi rest. Her breathing seems normal. I guess she's okay. I need to go find Yuka. Naomi, Naomi, you stay here and rest. I know it's dangerous for either of us to be by ourselves. But that goes for my little sister too. I can't just annoy her. I'll be back real soon, I swear. 
people just want to call me, right? <laughs> All right, sorry about that, guys. I had a phone call, so I had to like turn off the camera for a bit. But uh, let's continue on, you know. Uh, let's save it first because I uh, don't know what's going to pop off. I'm not going to save it in the same spot, but we're going to save it in another save spot because I don't know what's going to happen after this. And, you know, your boy don't want to waste time for you guys. So let's, let's uh, walk out this door real quick. See if we can find Yuka real quick. Because uh, while Naomi is resting, we're going to look for Yuka. So, um, the walkway was just at the bottom of the, of the stairs to the, to the right. Yeah. But as we know from before, the walkway disappeared. So... That's the crazy part. Hold on, let me fix my camera because I feel like it's a little bit off right there. Okay. Yeah. It's not here. Why? Why is there a wall here? There was a whole other building. There was a whole other building. What the hell is going on? Yuka! Yuka! Why must you torment me like this? So we find out we can't get the Yuka, so... Kizami! Kurosaki. The sign said <laughs> elementary school students couldn't buy them without a parent's permission. <laughs> but they sold me a hamster anyway, <laughs> and it was only 450 yen. <laughs> Didn't I tell you? Their lives, their lives aren't worth much at all. So, this is Kizumi. And his little sister. What? Oh, nothing. So what are you going to do with it? Do with it. Look at how cute it is. Look how cute he is. You want to take care of him? You're kidding, right? That smelly thing. So, what then? Something really special. Wait till you... Wait till you see it. Wait, you'll see it. Uh, It's not like nothing else. The end of the life. Of a life. The very moment of death. Come on. Give it here. This box cutter should do the trick. So, he was a killer from birth. No, that's... that's that's bad. Don't do it. All right. Don't do that. What? What? Are you stupid? Watch closely now. <laughs> Yuya! What do you think you're doing? Isn't Kizumi's sister? Nothing. Oh, no, so, who was who the other one? And what's this animal squealing in my ear? Don't you nothing me? You little asshole. <laughs> what? You've got a knife and a and an animal in your hands. Yeah, but I didn't do anything yet. So I'm not wrong when I say nothing. Now am I, stupid bitch? <laughs> it shouldn't be saying this, but I mean, it's, it's funny. Are you for real? You realize that no one's like likes a smart ass, right? You better pull that sass mouth, or you'll grow up to be even more of a good for nothing dirtbag than you already are. Uh, uh, me, give me, give him here. I'll take care of the little guy myself, okay? Okay, see you tomorrow. I swear, I don't know how he came to put up with, the, put up with you. Just shut the fuck up, you already. Just shut the fuck up already. Why did I have to be your youngest, be the youngest anyway? If I had a little brother of my own, I loved the shit out of him. I sure as hell would have been. Okay, I, I have a problem with him. So, what made you want to become a killer at the age of what? I want to say 8, 10, 10, maybe 10? I sure as hell wouldn't be like, my goddamn, what is that? Whole year? Uh, then thou sister, or my fucking retarded <laughs> of a brother, <laughs> retard of a brother. Oh my gosh! I listen to the little tyke and respect him. And if I had a little sister of my own, <laughs> that dude is crazy, bro.
どうしたんだいゆかちゃん What's the matter, ゆか<笑> awful <笑>すごい悪臭だ。Uh, I got a student ID. Another student ID. That's crazy. How did those appear there? No, this is the female's bathroom that was shut. Great many lives ended in this room. It's crazy, dude. I don't trust Yuka with him. How do I. I, I need to find somebody that can save her. Save her. She needs help. Over here, slim things. What is that? The storm. Yeah, that was the storm. Yuka chan. Poor little Yuka. With all those bodies in there, you'll never be able to relieve yourself. So, I, I, I gotta do my voice at、well. well then. Shall we be off? <laughs> my dear little sister. <laughs> I gotta do my voice at you guys. I'm gonna do it for you guys. Is that Seiko? No, it's Ayumi. No, we don't w a n t to play as her. Sure, it's cold. Where the hell did Miss Yumi and Kishinuma go? Anyway, don't leave me by myself. I'm scared. You know? You know? <laughs> Alright, what? Maybe I should try to go back to room 1A. If I stay in this other school building for too long, my head's really going to start pounding. <laughs> Alright, so she's heading back to room A. Kishinu. He's. Not Kishinuma. Kizumi is with Yuga and he needs to go before she ends up dying. And. Satoshi is running around Kishinuma. I don't know where he is. All I know, he's got. He got hit in the head and taken by the. Random zombie dude that、um, was walking around. <laughs> stop, it. stop it already. We were killed by an ed educator. Oh, dude. That was. Suzumoto san, Korostare, t a t i n o n i wasn't involved in Suzumoto's death. She seemed different from the others. Lonelier. But why? Do I get the play? Oh, yeah, this is me. Okay. um Not gonna. Excuse me. Not gonna talk to the courts because there would be no point of talking to it. um Plan is to head to the 1A classroom that was upstairs where Keisha Numa and、um, Miss Yui was from the start. And was that body always there? It's the body of a middle schooler. Whoever it is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or even moments ago. Alright, let's head back up to the classroom. Save it. Uh, right here. I'm gonna save it on save three. We're gonna complete this. Uh, get somewhere real quick. Uh, I think it's right up here. Let's do it right up here. Yeah. The message you wrote previously is still clearly visible on the teacher's desk. No one's responded yet. I wonder if anyone's even seen it. My message. Okay, so. If we had just wrote something back, we would have been good, but no, we, we didn't. 
Okay, y'all see that red stain on the back? Of, like that red? What is that on the back of her skirt? That blood? Okay, this is the room where we mess with that gear. So, wait, I heard, wait, last, last couple of episodes, back in chapter two, I think, chapter two, or was it chapter three? I don't know which one, but there was a room up there. What's going on? What's going on? And Yumi's hen landed squarely in the middle of the sea of broken glass from a fallen light fixture. The skin between the index finger and the thumb are on her right hand was cut wide open. Ow. It's bleeding pretty badly. I hope the hand handkerchief can stop it. Just found out I am anemic yesterday too. Great timing, huh? Yo, talking about splits between the hand, guys. I like was jumping over a fence and the fence like cut my hand like from this point all the way in to like right there. And it was like the deepest cut and somehow it it, 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 it's, it healed i don't know how it healed because it was like the deepest cut but like i didn't go to the hospital i don't know why i didn't go to the hospital but i mean like i don't know i i, I mean it, it healed by itself it was really itchy i put some peroxide alcohol and everything on it and it just healed by itself but it was really itchy it was like the worst feeling ever. Like, don't hop over fences. I, I, I am not an athletic person, so I learned my lesson never to hop over the fence ever again. And then the second time, when my uh, okay, apparently I can't go over there when my pants got caught onto the fence. So, um, yeah. So we gotta find Miss Yui. Miss Yui. Miss Yui. That's the classroom. Um, let's see. Miss Yuei. Miss Yuei. The door is a fist. So, Miss Yuei isn't in here. So, wait, where? Where is she? Because she was still in the same area as we were, but like trapped somewhere, right? Or would, no, the room changed. The room changed. Yeah. Okay, makes sense. So, I can't go up there. So, we have to go back downstairs and probably head towards the area where the infirmary was. To see if we would interact with anything over there. Alright. What is this over here? I'm afraid to talk to this, but... Whether you're faced a flyer or on the wall or just standing in the middle of the room, if you've got a hunch there's something nearby, use the X button. Never give up. The X button. Okay, that wasn't there before. Whoever this is seems to have only just died mere hours, minutes, or moments ago. Uh, there's an old crumbled up piece of paper next to the body. Well, Yuma. I guess this is as far as I as you go. Exhaustion has set in, so it looks like it's the end of the road. A classmate told me Mizuki climbed the fence already, the outdoor walkway, and slipped into the woods outside the school. It's been three days now, and she still hasn't come back. All the while, I've been stuck here, getting chased around by the ghost of a, of a girl with nothing above her jawline. And I'm, and I've not only twisted my ankle, but also got glass cuts all over my wrist. So I'm in no position to keep running. I keep hearing the snip, snip, snip sound of scissors everywhere I go. I can't tell if it's real or if it's just a ringing in my ear. I wish I'd just die already, get it over with, so I can finally rest. Maybe I should, maybe I can have my head, my head cut off at the jaw like that. Yo, that's crazy. No, you don't want that. That's an evil spirit. That's an evil spirit. I'm not gonna talk to it. Okay, that's the television that's ringing up there. Still don't have a key for it. 
I'm just checking up here real quick. I'm just like buying some time right now to see where uh, everything is. I know that's the evil spirit and we got to watch out from that girl goes. Okay, that's blocked off. So we, we do have to go back over there where the infirmary is. So I'm not talking to that ghost. It's evil. Go over here and see. But I mean, Ayumi didn't even really go into the second building. Well, she went into the second building, but she just came back to the first building. See if we interact with anything. It's a doll. That's the same doll. The anti doll you threw down earlier is still lying here. <laughs> oh, yes. There's a spirit here. Back away slowly. Uh, yeah. uh, the light and dark sides of Heavenly Host Elementary School. Elementary's principal, Takemai, Takemine, uh, Tanagihari? Tanagihari? I don't know. Ground was broken from, broke, broken for Tienjin's municipal, oh my god. Heavenly Hose Elementary School building in 1952. It quickly became a source of pride for the town, as no elementary school had stood within Tenjin's borders at all prior to its construction. Primary schoolers had previously been commuting to neighboring towns for classes. So for them, class for so for them in particular, Heavenly Hose truly was a godsend. The convinced, convicted position of principal for this new learning institution was awarded to a man named Takamine. I don't know the last name, so is that the last or the first name? I think that's the first name. Okay. Quickly became popular again amongst the townsfolk for his charismatic, charismatic, my fault, personality, his work ethic, and his firm but fair school policies. Registration and attendance soared well beyond the school's capacity, necessity, necessitating frequent desk and chair reorders, and even general building expansions. Essentially, due to his unwavering dedication, Heavenly Hose began a cornerstone of life within the humble town of Tingen. But all that began to change on that all began but all that began to change on the dawn of one fateful day with an incident that would set the stage for heavenly host's rapid fall for grace and then the rest of it is blank the newspaper is torn at this point okay what's my candle doing here i'm sure i left it outside in the hallway did someone move it uh i'm not sure well, we're gonna save it right here and keep exploring. You thought I was gonna end the video, huh? How do you guys feel? All right, so don't interact with him just yet. I can't go this way. I can't bring myself to see Suzumoto like this. Okay. I feel like I lose my mind. So where am I supposed to go? The dog crying? Where is that coming from? Sounds muffled. Like one of those toy Mika dolls. Telephones. But it's definitely close. It's the damn dog! It's making noises again! Why is it still crying? Okay, something's not right. I may just have to do a double upload on this because I don't know where I'm going. Can't go that way. Beep. 
sleep. It's still crying. There's something here that I have to interact with. I'm gonna talk to the spirit real quick. It hurts. It hurts so much. Even in death, it still hurts. Now and always. Alright, um... I'm not sure where we exactly are supposed to go. I know I've been up here for more than uh, 10 minutes on this second video that I'm doing right now, but um, not the second video, but on this video, more than 10 minutes because it's like broken into two parts, but um, pretty strange. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do one more hunt and if it's not right then I might just end the episode and do a double upload today with uh, Otaku's Adventure as well. Okay, yeah, um, I'm gonna save it and I'm gonna end the episode because like it's gonna take me a while to understand where this <laughs> where I'm going, but um, I'm gonna end it off right here. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to hit that like button, also hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel, and also be able to. I'm over here burping all over the place. Be sure to hit that bell notification to stay up to date with all the videos that come to my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay saucy, my dudes.